What's going on everybody, Ryan Nyquist here and uh, we got a rainy day situation here in Santa Cruz, California. Um, it's been raining all day, pretty steady too. It's actually let off a little bit and now it's more of like a weird misty fog. But either way, there's nothing happening outside, there's no riding. Um, not to mention I just got back from Simple Session and the airlines lost my clothes bag, they lost my bike, so even if I wanted to ride, there's no way it's going to happen. So I figured today's the day we're going to go inside the garage and um, try to do some organizing. Now as a man, I pride myself in having a, you know, a relatively nice garage, organized, tools in the right place. My garage is anything but that. It is super disorganized. Um, I don't even know what's in there anymore. There's seriously like uh, Christmas decorations, there's kids stuff, kids clothing. Um, I honestly think there's rats living in here. Um, old bike parts. I, I'm gonna go through here and just try to start the cleaning process and organization process. Like I said, I don't even know what's in here. So I gotta get through here, actually get in there to see what's in there and then start cleaning because it's, it's been a while since I've been in there for one and two, it's just, it's in shambles. So today's the day. kind of embarrassing to be honest because I feel like um, I feel like I could be on a show you know one of those hoarders shows where people just have stuff packed up and um, and they have rats and mice and nasty like you know just gross stuff I'm not that extreme with it but this is definitely something I'm like man I need to get this under control I love being in the garage I love working on my bikes I love just being in here and just tinkering on stuff and this is um this is just terrible man new plan I think uh, I'm not going to worry about trying to get a bunch of stuff done. I think I'm just going to kind of take inventory of the stuff I have in here because for one, I don't have mo like room to move around in here. I, I'm, I kind of feel like I'm just walking in the same little path that I've beaten in because I need to get in every once in a while. So I'm just going to kind of go around and just look and see what I got and um, you know, maybe you guys can enjoy this process too because um, there's a lot of weird stuff in here. For one, well let me start with the, probably the coolest and weirdest thing I have in here is this little bad boy. This is a rubber band ball that I made when I was, uh, geez, I don't know what, fifth grade or third grade or something like that. And uh, it's it's big. I mean, it's like the size of a basketball. It weighs a ton. And uh, I got all these rubber bands to wrap around a, um, basically wrap around a bouncy ball, like something, you know, just a regular bouncy ball. I wrapped everything around there like started with like regular size rubber bands and then eventually <coughs> eventually I had a paper out and I started getting these big red rubber bands like these and uh, I started buying just a lot of bags of those and started wrapping it so that's a kind of a cool thing I've had and I don't plan on getting rid of it because I just I don't know I'm kind of attached to it I worked really hard that was like the first thing I've ever worked really really hard on and, and I don't know it's kind of cool <laughs> I think this is pretty sweet these are my oh boy here they are let me get these out get them in the light this is my brand new signature frame from Haro. Boom, let's have a little look-see. See that? Nyquist. So I was riding this frame for a little bit and uh, decided I want to make some changes to it. So I uh, sent the guys at Haro the, the changes and there should be a frame coming uh, here any day now. So I'm gonna start riding that one um, because I had to switch and rode my old lineage frame which I love that frame, but uh, this one's gonna be insane. I cannot wait for this thing to be done and uh, to set one up exactly the way I ride it because uh, when I had these ones put together, it felt great, but the, with the new dimensions and all the changes I made, oh, it's, ooh, it's gonna feel awesome. Weird hats, look at this, this kind of hat in here. <laughs> I don't even know what this is, but I'm gonna put it on. See, that's the thing is I don't know where a lot of this stuff even comes from. But hey, man, you know maybe this, maybe I just, maybe this, maybe this will be my next rock star hat. Maybe I'll put the rock star right. Where is it? Right here. And just rock this thing. You know, <laughs> it might go over well. Who knows? So look at this. This is sweet. This is one of my original blamos that I rode for Haro. This one too. Yellow one. So awesome. Let's see what this says. Oh, okay. Here we go. Look. 97 X Game Street, fifth place. 
So I rode this frame in 1997. That was the first year I was on Haro, which is uh, 20 years. It was my 20th year on Haro. And so I rode this frame at the 97X Games Street Contest, which it, back then, you know, they called it street, but basically it was park. And this is the frame. This is the frame I rode. I might actually go in the attic right now. And uh, I think there's a bunch of other stuff up there. Like some really cool stuff. I'm going to abandon the garage. This is, this is honestly starting to stress me out. I kind of want to go upstairs and show you guys what I got upstairs. All right. So we're up here in the attic. And uh, it's uh, it's very dark. That's the first thing I noticed. <laughs> I need to get some lights up here really bad. But uh, basically, um, yeah, it's it's kind of sketchy. You can see down there. It's like there's a, like a hole, a couple holes <laughs> in here. So you know we got some plywood areas we can walk. But really, it's like you gotta really watch your steps. So um, I'm I'm hoping that uh, I don't just fall through when I'm trying to get to the place I want to go. So these are a bunch of old Haro frames. What's that say? 97 MTV Dirt Course. First place, Ty. So the MTV used to throw this thing called the Sports and Music Festival. And there was a contest where they had a bunch of con like they had concerts and bands and, and then they brought a bunch of uh, BMXers and skaters and um, they had a dirt course there. They had a street course and a vert ramp, I believe. And... Um, yeah, I must have tied, I don't know who I tied with, but I must have tied for first there, which is pretty sweet. Here's an old mirror seat right there. Look at that thing. Look at that. Bam. And then we got a complete blammo right here. Kind of feel like I'm filming like the next Blair Witch Project. It's uh, it's like super dark and I'm just like kind of talking to myself and it's really creepy even up here and dangerous. It's actually starting to stress me out. I'm, I'm not even joking. Like, um, my wife always tells me that I, I keep too much stuff, and, and uh, it's now becoming very apparent. I can't even walk, dude. I can't. Oh my god, I'm, I'm seriously gonna crash. Okay, it's becoming very apparent that she might be right. <laughs> and then you got this guy over here. <laughs> uh, I swear, this could be a haunted house if I could somehow manage to get kids up here during Halloween, this might be a very scary place. Yeah, I gotta get down here. This is, this is getting too crazy. I gotta get down. <laughs> All right, back on the ground floor and it's not any better down here. I, uh, I really thought when I did this video I was gonna actually be doing stuff in here and getting stuff done, but it actually, kind of just turned into a makeshift like tour of my garage so I hope you guys enjoyed it um, if I find some cool stuff in this cleanup process I'll set it aside and we'll film some more in here maybe this is like a regular thing where I'm in my garage just showing you guys stuff because there's a lot of stuff in here as you can see there's a lot of junk in here but a lot of cool stuff as well so I'll keep filming but um, make sure if you haven't yet make sure to subscribe to the channel make sure to push the notifications button so that way you know when I upload a video and um, Keep tuning in, man, because I'm going to keep doing this. Keep making videos. So, uh, yeah, that's it. See you later. Stay awesome. Peace.